Well, there's been another slump in support for the voice to Parliament, according to the latest news poll data that's out this morning. Let's go to Canberra. Joining us live is the Assistant Minister for Indigenous Australians, Malandiri McCarthy. Malandiri, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. Yeah, just on this new polling out, now below 50% in every state. Is that a hard dose of reality after Gama? It's a hard fight all the way, Peter. We knew it from the get-go. Referendums are so tough to win in this country. And what I've come back from Gama on Gulkala country with is still a sense of how much certainly First Nations people are urging us to keep going and all those who do support the referendum are urging us to keep going. And that's what we're going to keep doing right up to 6pm on the day of the ballot. Sure, I, I know you want to smile through it all and try and keep things positive, but <laughs> but is no, that serious? But I'm, I'm really happy. Like this is a, this is genuine. Like we came away with so much strength uh, from Gama and and the, you know on Gulkala country and sure. you know and I say thank you to all of those people. So look, it is tough, Peter. I have no doubt about it. Yeah, but I also I... realise that as you're talking to all Australians, as we go around, I've been travelling through jurisdictions, states, territories. You know, people want to see what is it that we would achieve beyond the referendum? And I'm always happy to be talking about that. OK. Well, I mean, I did want to ask you, I mean, you, you, on the point of trying to stay positive and, and forging ahead, there's no measure, though, that suggests that this referendum is in any way heading for success. So what, what is it that you're holding on to that gives you encouragement that all of those polls are wrong? The flame of hope. Peter, uh, we talk about it in a cultural sense. It's the fire that keeps burning in the hearts of those who hold a great deal of hope for goodness and for change in a direction that empowers uh, the most disadvantaged, but also the fact that our country has a deeper history here and one that we so want to share as First Nations people. So it is hope, you know, it is the flame of hope okay. uh, that keeps me going. And I look at inspirational people. I mean, look at our, our Socceroos with the Matildas even. You know, look at Haley. She was lying flat on her back and then she scored the winning try to get into an amazing uh, game for tonight. So I think hope and overcoming obstacles and being resilient is what okay. keeps me going. Is, is one of those obstacles the Prime Minister tying himself in knots when avoiding questions about treaties? Well, the Prime Minister certainly had time with elders uh, at Arnhem Land and reaffirmed our commitment, Peter. We've always said uh, that we follow the Uluru Statement in full, and that is uh, voice, treaty, truth. And he reaffirmed that commitment this weekend uh, with the elders. Uh, we know that winning any referendum is so tough, and we have to stay focused on trying to win the voice referendum. OK, let's go to WA, where the vote is going backwards there as well. Do you support the scrapping of WA's cultural heritage laws? Well, that's clearly up to the West Australian government. Uh, you know, these uh, laws are based on each jurisdiction and uh, clearly if that's the direction they're going now for the reasons that they've seen uh, matters for them, uh, then obviously, hopefully, that will be uh, good for, for Western Australia. But I've only just come back from Arnhem Land, so I'm interested to ha actually have a deeper look at that one, Pete. OK. Uh, I mean, could, could that be reversed if the voice fails? I haven't had a good chance to okay. actually have a look at uh, yeah. what Western Australia has done, but clearly at a national level, uh, we do uh, want to make sure each state and territory jurisdiction doesn't have another, you know, Jook and Gorge, for example, that occurred in Western Australia. Uh, it is important. You know, our cultural heritage is important, not just for First Nations people, but for all Australians. If, if the referendum does fail, uh, fail, how much damage does it do to the Prime Minister's credibility moving forward? Oh, look, I'm, I'm staying focused on the referendum, Pete, and I know people don't like me saying that, but I have to say this. You know, the referendum to me is a, a bit like preparing for a grand final. You've just got to stay focused on, on the game ahead. And uh, it's tough, you know. We have to get out right across the country. Uh, you've spoken about polls, other people have spoken about polls, but we just keep going. And uh, I will stay focused on that, and you can ask me all those questions the day after the referendum. OK, you're looking forward to the Matildas tonight. I see you've got the green and gold on. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget the netballers. How yeah, good was that? <laughs> yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Malandiri McCarthy, always good to chat. I'll talk to you again soon.